It's been a life-changing experience. Jenny Johnson back at Presbyterian St. Luke's Hospital where she got a bone marrow transplant that has left her searching for words of thanks. I don't know that I have adequate words to explain what, what it's been like, but it's been such a gift. The gift of life coming from an anonymous donor. He saved my life and it's just been a very humbling, life-changing experience. Yeah, life-changing, life-saving. Life-saving. Gave my kids their mom back. The single mom had myelofibrosis. Today she was thanking staff for her second chance, posing with her doctor from the Blood Cancer Institute. It's the only treatment that you can be alive without evidence of disease five years after you've gotten your diagnosis. Well, when they say it's as easy as one, two, three, all you do is take a swab of the inside of your mouth. Put it in the donor envelope and you're on your way to helping someone beat cancer. I have an opportunity to save somebody's life and uh, I said, well, I mean, that sounds good to me. It's, I, it's very important. It's free. It's painless. There's, no, there's nothing to it. Just sign up and uh, get a swab of your cheek done. The whole goal today, to get donors to help others on the transplant list. 60% of the people who need a bone marrow transplant are unable to find a donor. The donor group saying no one fights alone and no one should die because they didn't have a match. In Denver, Jan Bowman, Channel 2 News.